Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm on the Benelli BN125. I think this is the best budget 125cc bike for 2023. So this is another ride and review. So sit back, relax and come along for the ride. Uh, they reckon this bike's got a top speed of 65 miles an hour and uh, we're going to try and demonstrate that in a minute as we get on an open little bit of road and uh, we'll give it the full throttle and see what it goes like. The thing with these 125s is you've just got to build the rev range up to kind of get them moving. So it's quite a windy day today as you can probably hear and we are absolutely flat out at the minute. At 55 miles an hour, we've got a slight incline, but I'm in fifth gear on full throttle. This bike only weighs 142 kilos, so it feels extremely light. So I'm going for the overtake, and we are going flat out. 61 miles an hour, but like I said, I've got the wind against me here. It is quite a windy day. <laughs> <laughs> it's great going into the corners on such a light bike it's so nimble you can literally just full throttle it everywhere we'll just slow down for the villagers just going to give it a little uh, brake test as well yeah i tell you what the brakes are pretty good on this little thing it is absolutely effortless to ride the controls are all very simple no complicated electronics on this bike. So it has a dual braking system. When you hit that bad brake, it'll also apply the front. But yeah, the brakes feel good on it. It feels sharp. And the throttle is nice and smooth. Like I said, you've just got to kind of build the revs up a little bit if you want to kind of maximize the speed on these little bikes. Um, as I've sat on it now, the seating position's really good. Let's wait for this van to get out of the way. And I'll hit the full throttle again. We kind of get the revs up into about the, the eight or 9,000 RPM and they change gear and it, it really does start to pull nicely. Right, we'll just uh, pull into this little bay here. And we'll take a closer look at this bike. it's so uh, so easy to get into neutral as well on this the gears just feel really light that clutch is really light as well so I'm just going to give you a quick walk around the bike so we've got the Benelli BN125 and aesthetically I think this bike looks really good it's very well built it's Chinese manufactured but you can definitely see it's got that Italian design that comes with it so the engine is producing 11.1 horsepower and 10 newton meters of torque. So we've got upside down front fork suspension. And on the rear, we've got a single shock with a preload adjustment only. I'm really liking this trellis frame design and the color combination does suit the bike. So the front brake consists of a 260 millimeter steel disc with a three piston caliper. And on the rear, we've got a 240 millimeter disc with a double piston caliper. So what this bike has got is dual braking. So when you hit that back brake, it also applies the front brake. On the front headlight, we've got a couple of LED lights there. The main bulb is halogen, and we've also got LED indicators. On the front tire, we've got a 110 B80, B17. And on the rear, we've got a 130 B70, B17. So this bike's got one of the lowest seat heights in the naked bike category. It's coming in at 770 mil at 5 foot 9. I've got my feet flat on the ground. This bike would definitely suit that shorter rider. So the LCD is nice and clear and gives you all that information you'll need. So you've got a nice size pillion seat and you've also got these grab handles that are good for the pillion but also good for moving that bike around. Yeah, 
Yeah, I do like the brakes on this bike. For a little bike, it stops well. So the ergonomics on the bike are really nice. Comfortable riding position. Um, I don't think this bike with the sort of bike you'd want to do on a, a longer journey, but commuting round town and days out, absolutely fantastic. The riding position for me, it fits me absolutely perfect. My knees kind of slot under the tank. And when you get into these kind of snaky corners, like I said, this seems to be, you know, quite a bit of traction. Today's quite a, a wet, a bit of a slippery road day, but um, I feel quite uh, confident on the bike that it's, uh, it's going to grip quite well. It's not the most powerful 125 out there. There's enough to kind of get you up to the legal speed. Like I said, I'm a battling against the wind a little bit today. It is December, so I can't expect too much. With having that link braking system, when you stamp on that black brake, this bike really does come to a stop, as I'll just demonstrate. That was bad brake only. That was absolutely brilliant. So I'm just going to get it up to speed, and then we're going to hit the brakes and uh, see how well she stops on both of them. We're hitting 61 miles an hour. Oh yeah, those brakes work really, really well. Like I said, there's no particular weight to this thing. 142 kilos. So this bike's got a 13.5 litre fuel tank and it will do a whopping 100 miles to the gallon. So it is quite a windy day today. And the thing is with a lot of these naked bikes, you don't have any wind deflection. So you are a little bit open to the elements. The gear changes are really smooth on the bike. Like I said, the clutch is really light. I find the mirrors are probably standing a little bit proud for my liking. So the build quality on these bikes is pretty good to be fair. You expect it to be a little bit cheaper because of where it's made. So I've got to be honest, all the controls and everything seem really sturdy. I would say the bike's probably lacking a little bit of power compared to other 125s, but like I said, it's only kind of 11.1 .1 horsepower, whereas some of the other ones in this category are kind of up to the 15 brake horsepower, and that does make a little bit of a difference. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a little spot to pull over, and I've got my uh, GPS tracker that can uh, time me on a 0 to 60. Now I can't guarantee I'm going to hit 60 miles an hour, but we'll give it a go and uh, see if we can get a reading on this uh, little puppy. Right, okay, let's see if we can get this up to 60 miles an hour. That's the 30. Come on. And that was the six there. Well, it took a little while to get there. The speedometer on the bike was showing about 67. Like I said, no excuses. It's a bit of a windy day. I didn't think it was going to get to six there. Just looking at the reading on the screen there, it kind of did 0 to 30 in 4.3 seconds. And then to get it up to that 60 miles an hour, it took 24.4 seconds. Like I said, this isn't the quickest bike. I've not got the perfect conditions today, so I will try again at some other time. But this bike will seem to do a comfortable 60 mile an hour. I mean, the suspension's fairly hard, but you kind of want that with a naked sort of bike that's fairly sort of sporty looking. If you hit a bump at speed, you do tend to feel it a little bit. That rear shock's got a little bit of adjustment, but there's none on the front. I think if anybody's looking for a budget bike, then these certainly fit in that category. So when you're navigating through those busy cities, this bike is going to be absolutely fantastic. It's so light and nimble. And 100 miles to the gallon, you're going to have no problems with running this thing. It's going to be super cheap. So there you have it then guys, this is the Benelli BN125, a superb bike, it's that good, we've actually purchased this bike. This is my girlfriend's bike, she's going to get back into the saddle and start riding again after she broke her wrist. And this is the perfect bike to do it on, value for money, these bikes are coming in brand new at £2,700. And this is why I said this is the best budget bike for 2023. This is a 22 edition one, it's got 550 miles on the clock and we 
we paid £1,600 for it. So I think that is an absolute bargain, a perfect commuter or starter bike. So I hope you like the video guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel please do so, give us a like and I'll see you in the next one.